In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus K3PO4. This is barium nitrate and potassium phosphate. The first thing we do with net ionic equations is we balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation up here. I can see that I have three bariums here and just one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the barium nitrate. Now I have the two times the one, so I have two nitrates times three. That gives me six nitrates. So I really need to put a six here, so now I have the six nitrates. That gives me six potassium atoms. Let's put a two here, two times three. So the potassium atoms are balanced, two of the phosphates, two phosphates here. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, nitrates are very soluble. We're going to write AQ. That stands for aqueous. It's dissolved in water. It splits apart into its ions. Phosphates in general are insoluble. They won't dissolve. But group 1 phosphates like sodium and potassium here, they're an exception. They're soluble. So this is also going to dissociate into its ions. Then we have this phosphate here. We said they're in general not soluble. Barium phosphate is insoluble. So it's going to be a solid. These will react and it'll form solid barium phosphate. That'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is also a precipitation reaction. Nitrates, very soluble, AQ. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions, and that's going to be the complete ionic equation. Barium's in group 2, it's 2 plus, and then the nitrate ion, the whole thing, is 1 minus. Good one to remember. Three barium ions, and I won't write the states each time, plus we have 2 times the 1, 2 nitrates times the 3, total of 6 nitrate ions. Potassium's in group 1, it has a 1 plus, and the whole phosphate, 3 minus. So 2 times 3, 6 potassium ions, and then 2 phosphate ions. So these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. Now we can do the products. In net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart, so we just write barium phosphate. We said potassium 1 plus nitrate 1 minus 6 potassium ions, just like in the reactants, plus we have 6 nitrate ions. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I see I have these 6 nitrates here. I also have that in the products. So we get rid of that six potassium ions here and in the products. Get rid of that. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus potassium phosphate. I'll clean it up and write the states and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for BaNO3 2 plus K3PO4. You'll note that charge is conserved. I have three times two plus, that's six plus, and here I have two times three minus, that's six minus. Six plus six minus Net charge of zero, this is neutral, net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for barium nitrate plus potassium phosphate. Thanks for watching.